Hey, this is Code Names, and what I have here is something showing off the new, well, not newest update, because they just released a kind of minor add-on to it, but showing off all the things you can do with gravity generators. Mainly, I started out trying to make different type of catcher's mitts, because one of my first videos, the pinwheel catcher's mitt, doesn't actually work. I didn't test it at all, but what we have here is one central gravity generator. I just you like putting that great smack down in the center so I don't have to edit it because editing takes quite a fair bit of time when you're running on now two frames per second. And I'm recording, but that adds a little bit of stress to the system. So where do we start? We start where the stones start, or pebbles, or rocks, or marbles. But right here, we start and we slide down and you can't see anything because I have my view on, small person view, no, look up, look down, look, indirectly look up, there we go. But this is where the stones start out or where someone would throw the pebbles. And then they'd roll down this ramp into one of these four dividers. The dividers are divided by edge pieces, I guess. Wedges, that's what. There's always a fancier word for it, so wedges. The wedges divide up so that the pebbles don't just get stuck in the center, which they will unless you have something such as a ramp. Until they hit the bottom, or I think it's two blocks from the bottom, there will be only a downwards, oh, sorry, just messing with keys, downwards gravity until, if you can look at the side over here, there's just downward gravity and then where the pigment turns a little bit whiter, that is where these lateral or side mounted gravity generators come into play. Turn that off. And I said turn you off. but. Those will pull it to the side, as you can see right here. They are set up to act in two different boxes, but no more than those two boxes. So I've got this one, is this east? Let's just call this east. This east one works on this one that I'm pointing at, and the one that I will be pointing at, this one. And then, how? oh, then it works in the northeast box, which I'm pointing at, and the southeast box. And then the south one works in the southeast, southwest, west, west, no, west in the southwest and in the northwest, and north in the northwest and northeast boxes. You could also make them diamonds, which was the old way of doing it, I guess, where you just have ramps and then you could put corner pieces in easier, but I'm not going to elaborate on that. But then you get down here, and I think I have to go through this way. But then they fall down, there's holes in the corner, so those gravity generators are actually pulling towards you. It's nice that they have a negative value. You can actually set it to a negative value as I switch views in very slow motion. But they are actually pulling the stones, pebbles, or people towards them. And then I believe this is where I left the hole. Yeah, I did some patchwork, so there's some odd colors. This whole thing is blue because, I actually left out the name telling you, this is, I guess you could call it a snowball fight. All the stones, pebbles, or rocks are ice, which makes up snow, if you didn't know that. I feel for you. But what we have in here are the snow blowers or the snow makers, if you actually ride on an artificial snow hill or mountain. But Pebbles will come down here through this ramp and then be propelled all over the place. And my idea for what would be in here as a surface, other than the floor, which actually doesn't act like a floor, but have these ramps so that you can stand on them, but the pebbles will just roll off and they'd be on their merry way on through the system. Now we continue on. Well, I guess I would talk about the game now. The game would be you have many people in here and then stones would be thrown down automatically and then reset and whoever collects the most stones, pebbles, rice, 
rice, ice chunks will win in turn, I guess. But we are going down until we hit the floor, which isn't really a floor, as I just said. And then the pebbles, stones, rice, I don't know where that came from, will continue down, rolling, skipping, jumping, you never know, they might be skipping. And then they come into here, which there's a reverse of gravity. And then, actually, I'll pause it here. What we just went through was an upright hole that, no, upright tube that would shoot us up to the top and then into this other system, which I'll show you from the exterior. And then once I hit here, there's a little bit of gravity lag. I'll just help the system. Walk down, flip of gravity once more, and then a second one that you couldn't really see. And then I'm back at this portion. What we just went through was the reset process. The tube carries any jetpack on, any rocks and pebbles from the bottom up to the top, and then spits it out into this spinning deal thingy my bobber. But up top you can actually see it much better from the exterior, no wonder. But there's that white pipe over there, which I actually started with started at, that has two gravity generators reversing the one pulling you down, so all the pebbles go up, and then I have a setup that pushes you down, or the pebbles, down this ramp, down this way, and then an actual ramp into the spinning bobber. Now, something interesting that I found was for this game, you would have to use rotors. This is mainly for the things in the arena that would shoot out the pebbles. The snowmakers, I call them. Those need a special system to let pebbles in, but only allow it to go through a one block hole. I used pillars for this. I really do enjoy using pillars and motors and blocks for rotors. But if I turn off my gravity, we'll get a nice close look at it. Should pack off. We're falling indefinitely. So we have a rotor hooked up to a pillar, but pillars only can connect on two sides and in the middle. So what you have to do is use a door. You have to connect a door only in the top side. I haven't really tried the sides, but you connect it to the top and then the pebbles, as you can see, can get through those side doors. Sorry if I'm bumping the mic a bit, but then the pebbles just fall down. I, th I thought that I put some in here, but it actually works. I've tried it. I've had limited fun with this due to my inability to actually, uh, what's going on here? Actually have a good run with it because pebbles will randomly glitch out either through some of the walls that I have set up but hopefully when I get this around to understanding the Steam Workshop, whatever that thing is, I'll hopefully get this up there and you can actually see how it works for yourself. This whole thing is automated. You can set up your own surface area, whatever you want to play with down in the base and just flat out have fun with it. This has been Code Names and I'll see you in the next one.